Hi, my name is Sean Fields. Um, I'm one of the executive chefs here at John Hopkins Hospital. I'm here with Tracy Taylor, um, the sous chef here at John Hopkins Hospital. And today we're going to talk about a couple of recipes and demonstrate some things that we're going to be doing for uh, what is known as a cancer consortium. Uh, we're trying to develop recipes as well as um, different styles of cooking for um, cancer patients to um, have when they eat at the hospital as well as to be able to um, commit to when they go home from the hospital. So if you'll um, bear with me, I'm going to um, turn things over to my sister, Tracy Taylor, and she's going to talk about some of these wonderful foods that we have in front of you here. First, we're going to talk about the Middle Eastern chickpea sliders, and we're going to go over the list of ingredients here. Seems like a lot, but it's actually very easy to prepare. We have some garlic, ground rice, ginger, parsley, hummus, cumin, coriander, thyme, red pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice. And it's not as hard as it sounds. It kind of just all goes in a bowl together, and we'll show you how it goes. John, start with the hummus. Hummus, my favorite. And did you add any seasoning? You can add in everything dry. Pinch of everything. Goody, goody. And then you're going to add a little bit, a bit of brown rice. The brown rice is what's going to hold your patty. And as you cook it, the brown rice will keep you form and dry it up a little bit so you can handle it. Once you get your patty formed with the brown rice, you're simply going to take it over to your flat top, saute pan. You can even pop them in the oven. So let's take this over to the stove and um, let's get some cooking. All right? Let's go. Once I form my patty, mm. get it on the stove, get it cooking, get it nice and hot. All right, and then we'll go, we're going to check back on that in a couple minutes, and we're going to see how we're going. All right. Thank you. Well, after a few minutes of cooking, you can see that your sliders turned a beautiful golden brown on both sides. The peppers are nice and sautéed, and you can take your roll and toast it. Basically, just put your slider on your bun and you are all set to go. Right. Now to finish these up, I like to add a roasted tomato and garlic aioli, and you just simply lift your roll, put a dollop of sauce on, but they're wonderful to finish with tomatoes, onion, lettuce, pickle, anything you like in combination. It keeps it healthy and keeps it very flavorful. Can, I, can I use cheese? No cheese. You want to keep away the fat and keep it healthy. Put on the sauce and enjoy.